Jean Laurent d'Alembert. Jean Laurent, interesting, he was, he was a bastard. He was born out of wedlock. His parents abandoned him. He was found near the church of Laurent, which is why his name is Jean Laurent. He gave himself that, that name based on where he was found. His biological father later provided an annuity for his study, so he became well-read. Diderot, we forgot to mention, actually edited an encyclopedia. We're familiar with encyclopedias. Encyclopedias are <coughs> dying out. We no longer need encyclopedias with the internet. I saw an internet video recently about little kids reacting to a set of encyclopedias. They were like, what is this? I've never seen this before. Right? For those of my era, I mean, we were familiar with encyclopedia salespeople. We got a lot of information out of those encyclopedias. That was a thing of the past. Diderot wrote one of the first encyclopedias. Let's try to write down as much as we can, as much as we can know about all sorts of different things. So Diderot and Alan Burt wrote uh, an encyclopedia together. It was Alan Burt who said, metaphysics is no source of knowledge, right? Because metaphysics, you know, these things that are beyond the physical, what can we know about things that are beyond the physical, beyond the senses? Can't know anything about those things. Metaphysics is no source of knowledge and simply leads to contradiction and paradox and results in skepticism. The moment someone starts getting up and preaching on these sorts of things, anyone can contradict him or her. Follow me? Father Jamie says that God is such and such. That God is blue. Then someone can say, wait a minute. Whatever, whatever Father Jamie says about God, someone can get up and contradict him. God is good. Okay, did you read your Bible? Do you see how God, sm how God uh, smote people and turned people into pillars of salt? That's good and loving. Follow me? Anything that you say about any metaphysical thing, anything that's beyond the senses, we can start disagreeing about. Anything that's within the, the senses, we'll agree on, more likely. But we can never know the why or wherefore of things why we're here as human beings, where we came from, got news for you. We'll never know. It's mystery. Do we know what the Greek word, the, the, the English word mystery comes from the Greek word mysterion. What does it mean? To keep the mouth shut. Wouldn't it be better if we just kept our mouths shut about mystery? Where do you come from? Why are you here? Instead of keeping our mouths shut, what do we do? We create stories. Right? Where does the Bible begin with? What's the first story in the Bible? It explains where we came from. Where did we come from? In the beginning, God created the earth. And it tells us how. And suddenly, the mystery is diminished. So he said we can never know the why or wherefore of things. Why we're here, where we came from, we'll never know. He said science has no need of hidden or occult qualities or substances, or metaphysical theories and explanations, no. This is not, we're not going to dwell on the metaphysical. We're going to live right here in the physical. The things we can see and taste and touch and smell and feel, that's where, that's where we're going to focus. Here, we'll never be able to agree on anything that's metaphysical. Never. He said science is concerned simply with phenomena, so let's just concern ourselves with those things that we can, that we can see and feel here. Morality is our consciousness of our duties toward others. Morality. What is morality? Right and wrong, good and bad? Can we get that from the Bible? No. That comes from our sense of our duties to one another. What duty do we have to one another? That will tell us what's right and what's wrong. I have a duty not to lie to you. You have a duty not to lie to me or to us. Okay? That's our ethical duty to one another. We don't have to read that in the Bible. We can think about what our duties are to one another. We have a duty to help one another. Okay, you don't need to read the Bible for that. We can think about what the duties are that we have to one another. And so in that way, he tried to separate theology and metaphysics, again, from ethics. What's right and wrong? 